Hi friends, it's Julia. I wanted to come today and share a couple of layouts um, that I've created. Christy's Beautiful Life is doing an ABC challenge and I'm following along with her. So I started in January of 2020 <clears throat> and so as the uh, challenges have come along, like the letter A lasted for a couple of weeks, the letter B, C, D, and I think she's up to E now. Um, so A was alphabets. So go through your older alphabets or newer alphabets. Create a title using a lot of alphabets. It's kind of how I took that challenge. So this is a layout that I created in January um, and it's got a long title with a lot of alpha stickers. Now it's only got two separate fonts but it has a large title. It says, there is this girl who stole my heart. She calls me daddy. So these three are obviously from the same um, collection. These are, oh, what do you call them? Thickers. Um, and they were a candy cane stripe. I don't remember the name of it now. And then these are freckled fawn and they are white with silver um, letters. Anywho, so that's that's the layout. That's my son and my middle granddaughter. These are embellishments that I stamped and colored um, and then I use lots of bling and some washi tape and a chipboard sticker. So lots of Christmas time embellishments. The next one was the letter B and it was uh, boys butterflies and balloons I think and so from that I chose boys um, and this is a layout that I created of my grandson Cameron um, and it says this smile that boy owns my heart um, and I just love how this one came together because I still feel like I, I got a little bit of alternating fonts of letters and um, such this is a Felicity a Felicity uh, Jane um, Alpha the paper this all started with the felicity jane kit that i had put together and it's got very little felicity jane on here actually it's actually got these um letters this background paper this paper um and i think that's it these are felicity jane but from a different kit so anywho um i had previously stamped this and that um, and had put those into my leftovers bin and I pulled them into this kit. Uh, I have washi strips from Freckled Fawn. I have the uh, white tiles from Freckled Fawn that have the gold lettering. And then I pulled in these uh, gold brass. Um, they are from Paper Studio and I just popped off the, um, the background piece that goes through the paper. Um, yeah, this is a Heidi Swap embellishment, uh, an old... Uh, I don't remember what those are called. It was like a whole border bling strip and I just cut it in half. I have lots of bling on here. Um, and then just put my, stamped out my title with a different, or my month with a different uh, letter stamp and put April of 14 there. So that was B for boy. The next one is C. C is collection. So for this layout, um, I started with a sketch from Scratch sketch Sunday that Moria O'Reilly does and I don't remember which one of which um sketch it was for it was one from Christie's Beautiful Life from one of her 30 days of sketches um sketch challenges um but the collection itself is the uh Jen Hadfield collection I've got it mixed I've got a couple of paper lines I have the Auburn Lane from Pink Paisley and the um oh i'm trying to see what the other one is jen hatfield heart of home collection i have those two collections mixed on my desk and i've i've been working through those for the collective series that i don't remember who's doing it now but on that i um had pulled all of these items from that supply and so i put this layout together um, and it's just about one of the dogs that's been a part of our family. Um, and it says, Hello, Jaeger. Um, this was, the photo was from May of 2014. Um, everything, with the exception of the bling and the brads and this, 
the alphas I think um, these are obviously thickers um, and then the brads are um, bow bunny and the bling I it I think it was from the collect one of the collections as well and so you can see I just layered up stickers um, puffy stickers the brads I used the little dots from the um, wood veneer um, thicker chipboard thicker to create part of the embellishment clusters yeah so but all of this came from that collection that I have put together next up was uh, D for di deeper a deeper story I think um, anyway so I went on to the mini kit Monday Facebook group um, and they had used a for the month of February they had used a sketch from sketch abilities as inspiration and so um, during the month of February of 2020 and so I just went on there and I found the sketch so the photos themselves um, are of my dog Xena and my granddaughter Shawnee and you look at this and you go okay what's the story um it says home sweet home and happy day um and thankful on here but if you pull this up it tells the story um and it's just one of those things that um i just went a little bit deeper to say that shawnee has always had um since she was born um she's always had a great re relationship with our dog xena um xena had, was we had Xena before Shawnee was born and so from the time that Shawnee could toddle around or crawl around um, every time she would come to visit her and Xena they would just be all over each other um, and so that they were really close so um, that just tells a little bit of that story and so you can see this one here I used a little bit of everything I'm using that same collection that I have on my desk it had um, six by eight papers and so I got out my punch board and punched some uh, tabs on there and then used some um, label stickers and just added lots of embellishment to create this layout um, with a little bit of a deeper story this hidden back behind there I don't typically add a lot of story to my layouts and for me that's okay if I just do a little blurb um, I'm good with it uh, the next one uh, was for um, embellishments and so what I did here um, over on the scrapbook generation Facebook page on February 27th uh, 2020 they featured one of my layouts that I had done for one of their crops um, at the towards the end of last year and so I went um, I used that as an inspiration to create this layout so I scrap lifted myself um, and I have used that layout that that particular sketch I've used over and over and over again because I love it it gives me the ability to add tons of photos onto a layout um, and I did them a little bit differently in that layout but the feel is still the same so this one is a two-page layout obviously and it says family puzzle time uh, hello family puzzle time um, and do what matters forget the rest um, and I just tell the story right here I put my journaling at the bottle at the bottom like I said I don't do typically a ton of journaling I just want to get the specifics of the story down and so I put the date December 2014th and told that you know not everybody at, who comes to my house likes to put puzzles together but I do so we had a great time putting these puzzles together so for the challenge for the ephemera um, you're probably wondering why do I have this rooster on here well if you're at my house then you know um, I have a rooster collection in my kitchen I started off with a couple of things and then my family has kind of filled in over the years by supplying me with more <laughs> so um, yeah that's why I have the rooster there um, I splattered some ink um, along the embellishment clusters um, and I put the word puzzle down here in this paper as soon as I saw this paper and I knew I had these um, thickers I knew I wanted to add that down there because it almost feels like it's a puzzle um, because it's the same 
features down here. The floral on the uh, plain background, just random bits of flowers or whatever on these letter stickers and I felt like it matched that background paper really well. Um, so this one didn't necessarily call for a lot of pattern paper. So I just have this, I think it's a two, two and a half inch border that goes down here along the entire thing. And then I punched out some circles with um, one of my circle punches to create a base for each of the clusters. And even here, I added a little piece here that I cut off from here. Um, and then these circles are from the um, cut apart paper that was in my collection that I'm that I'm currently working through on the side of my desk. Um, and this is a collection that I will work on occasionally throughout the year and then put it away when I'm tired of looking at it and then pull it out when I'm tired of looking at something else. But yeah, it's one of those collections that's going to go on all year, I'm sure, because it's very large, as much stuff as I've got added to it now. Um, so yeah, it's Family Puzzle Time. Hello, Family Puzzle Time. This I fussy cut out. These I layered up. Um, I layered tons of stuff up. So I really felt like um, this is a good representation of, of that embellishment um, ephemera challenge. Anyway, that's what I have so far. So we'll see what March brings. Anyway, guys, uh, that's my share today, and I appreciate you stopping by, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.